As the sun completes its loop over the party town of Laganas, the suburbs come alive with activity. The last rays of burning light illuminate the incomplete rooftops in a way that casts long claw-like patches of shade over the myriad of bars and strip joints. Loudspeakers and neon signs are once again kicked into life, once more coughing out the same melodies and displaying the same garnished text, shocked from its siesta. The sun-grayed streets are resuscitated with burning energy. My trip to Zakynthos had gone perfectly. Having swum with the world-renowned loggerhead turtles, I was proud to claim that I had witnessed the emerald-encrusted beasts in as natural a way as possible. You need only walk 50 metres into the heaven-illuminated bay to find them. Most days were filled with poolside sunbathing, trips to various vineyards and olive oil fields and large plates of all-inclusive buffet goodness with my large family. A small tip to the waiters allowed our group to reserve a lengthy table, meaning we could always be seated together and enjoy endless laughs on a nightly basis. I must have given myself a hernia giggling at those meals. Despite our holiday being filled with a mezzi of amazing experiences, one particular snapshot of that trip stands out as possibly the best of all. Dotted across the bleach sand are salesmen happy to rent you a large plastic pedal boat for as little as 10 euros. We hired one of these crafts several times throughout the holiday and took trips out across the salt-caked water. On one of these occasions, after diving off our vessel into the waves, I felt a distinct quiver run up my spine, igniting each vertebra in turn, less a feeling of anxiety and more a sensation of instinct. The water around me felt calm and undisturbed, the horizon unruined. It was at this point I looked down to see a carpet of sheer black and green passing beneath my bare feet. A moment of temporary panic later, I realised this gargantuous mass was in fact only a turtle looking rather disgruntled at me nearly landing on it. Coated in muscle, nearly twice my size and with enough fighting power to snap off my limbs with ease, it sailed past quite docile, deciding I wasn't worth its efforts. Jibing and tackling beneath my form it sailed. I remained frozen out of fear and respect for the creature. I must have stayed this way for five minutes, observing the spectacle, impossibly old and beautiful. I found myself shivering despite the warmth of the sun-boiled sea. Famous for its club scene and considered by many a stag-do destination, I doubt that anyone realises the magic of Laguna's hidden treasures. What I experienced that day felt private and intimate, and the reputation of the place is utterly pseudonymous. As the dark of the night reaches its maximum and the town once again grows weary, the beach is cast in the silver light of a huge moon. The turtles re-emerge to claim what is theirs and lay the next generation, curiously watching the dying light of the town from the silver sands.